Hey everybody. Um, I've been reading a few uh, network television blogs lately, and uh, I mean everybody who knows me knows that I'm a pretty big fan of ABC, and especially their nighttime lineup. A few changes this season have upset me with ABC. Um, the first was uh, the Sunday night show Brothers and Sisters, which starred Callista Flockhart, uh, Melanie, I mean, not Melanie Griffiths, uh, Rachel Griffiths, and uh, Sally Field was canceled after its, I think it was the fifth season. It was the fifth and final season. It was not renewed for six. Um, totally don't understand why I think it was stupid. It was a dumb move, but, you know, whatever. Can't do anything about it. Um, recently it was announced that Desperate Housewives will call it quits after the new season, which is going to be the eighth, uh, ends, and that they have no interest in, you know, continuing forward, which is, again, stupid, because it seems like ABC is getting rid of its best shows. Um, and then ABC has picked up, like, new shows for the fall. Uh, there's one about Pan Am. That's what it's titled, and I really don't see the the understanding or the semblance behind it. They also picked up they also picked up a Charlie's Angel reboot, which I mean, when you think about it, Charlie's Angels was great back in the day in like the late sixties or seventies, whenever it was, and then the movies were a great reboot, but do we really need another show about three women who don't use guns, who kick ass? I mean, I just don't see it. So, I mean, ABC has just kind of lost me, you know, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't really get it. And there's just been, uh, there's one network that I've never really criticized because it usually, oh, and another thing about ABC, they canceled V. I don't get that. I love that show. I love the original. I love the miniseries. And then they, the, the reboot was so wonderful. And I, I was like, yes, I get to, you know, my generation, you know, gets this. And then they decided to cancel it because, you know, ratings were down. And that's the thing I don't understand about networks. If viewership goes down a million or two million, you know, viewers, they decide to cancel a show, which I just don't think is right. But the one network that I rarely criticize, which is NBC, um, is finally doing some wrong, which I'm not too happy about. Um, Law & Order SVU, which has always been one of my favorite shows since the beginning of its, you know, run, uh, I think is about to enter its 14th season, and the original cast is getting a shakeup. Uh, Chris Milani, who plays Detective uh, Stabler, uh, decided not to renew his contract and left due to salary disputes. I'm very sad about that because, you know, him and Mariska Hargitay, who plays Detective Benson, really made the show what it is. I mean, the rest of the cast is nice, but, I mean, those two are the ones who make the show, and Mariska Hargitay has asked for a light workload this season, so she's going to kind of be like a background character. And then at the end of the season, she's going to be promoted to a higher rank, which the spoiler alert told me, Captain. I mean, I don't think this comes as a surprise, especially if people read this kind of stuff, but I mean, if I've spoiled it for you, sorry. I don't feel bad. Um... There's going to be a new pair of lead detectives, uh, one guy from the original Law and & Order and the chick that played the lead the character on the show Chase, which was also canceled. Um, but the, the saving grace for SVU this season is going to be Diane Neal, who played ADA Novak, and Stephanie March, who played uh, ADA Cabot, are coming back to both of their roles, respectively. 
So, I mean, that's a saving grace for the show because, you know, they're my two favorite ADAs, and I'm glad to see them back in action. Um, and the final uh, sadness about SVU this season, B.D. Wong is no longer going to be on the show, at least not this season. Um, however, he is going to be on a new show on NBC. I don't know the name of it. I forgot. But he will be on NBC on a new show, so I don't know if he's going to be a regular cast member or supporting or, you know, recurring, whatever. Um, but, I mean, I just don't understand what's going on with network television. It seems like they're trying to take so many, you know, they're trying to make so many budget cuts. But in the process, they're really cutting out a lot of the fan favorites. And they're, <coughs> excuse me, they're not doing, you know... I think, you know, ratings are going to go down on good shows because networks are trying to make budget cuts. So, um, ABC and NBC, you have fucked up. Uh, you have fucked up royally. And, uh, yeah, I'm not too thrilled with you, ABC. Canceling my brothers and sisters. What the hell is wrong with you? And you know what pisses me off is that nobody started a campaign to get brothers and sisters to stay. I mean, oh my god, when One Tree Hill went was about to be canceled, you had teenagers everywhere slitting their wrists talking about, please don't, please don't cancel One Tree Hill. I can't live without it. Seriously? I just, you know, I think it's crazy. But that's just my opinion. I'm just one voice in America. I really can't do anything about it. But if a network executive at ABC happens to see this video, spread the word to your friends. Not too thrilled. ABC television. This is the main